Hey guys, welcome back to ShopLite. Today I'm going to do a quick DIY on setting up your Infa NCS Expert cable with all the software on your computer. So this cable right here I got off of eBay. Uh, you can find them readily on eBay or Amazon, whatever you prefer. Usually they do come with software. If they don't, you can find the software on all the forum sites. They're posted everywhere. Just look, just type in Infa, I-N-P-A, or NCS Expert, and go ahead and find the software. The laptop that I usually recommend to people is any laptop that's running Windows XP, make sure it has a USB port because all the cables are USB cables that have a built-in serial converter so that way you can hook it up to the OBD2 port. So this software will work for pretty much uh, the E39s, E46s, E60s. I'll go ahead and show you the full compatibility list at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the computer I'm going to be using is the IBM ThinkPad R61. It already has Windows XP Professional on it. I highly recommend that you use a computer that has Windows XP Professional on it. That way you can use all of the software's capabilities. If you use Windows 7, Windows 8, anything like that, you're not gonna be able to have full, uh, full usability of all the software, so NCS Expert and stuff like that. And especially if you have 64-bit, that will limit you to mainly INPA, which you can only, use di which you can only do diagnostics and pretty much like the ABS bleeding and stuff like that. So try to get something with Windows XP. I'm sure you can find something on Craigslist for cheap under $50 and just even a netbook will work. So just get that. Then after that, you're gonna need the software suite. I found mine on the forums. Uh, you can find it pretty much anywhere. There's a lot of P2P sites that also uh, distribute the software or maybe even the seller that sold you the cable will include the software with it. So this one in particular has four folders. It has step one, step two, step three, and then driver. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the installation package and or the software package. We're gonna copy all of these folders onto the root drive of C drive. So control C. We're gonna copy it all into C drive. Once it has been copied, you're going to go ahead and open up step one. You're going to copy the EC apps folder onto the root directory of C drive. So like you see, I just dragged it over. Once you've copied that over, we're going to go to open up the NFS folder. Then go to this folder right here, which is ENT pack T. Then we're going to open up disk one. And then we're going to click on setup.exe. And this screen should pop up. Once this screen pops up, you're going to go ahead and select on Windows XP. Click on Next, which in this case is wider. Again, again, again. Make sure you have it selected on User Mode. Press OK. And then let it finish installing. Once that's done, we're going to keep it selected on number 1 parametriorin and then the rest of that then press next again make sure OBD is selected press next make sure the first is first option is selected which is cane API trace next one is cane IFH trace and then comfort.ipo and then just press next again Press OK, press OK, OK, just press any key to continue, we'll just press enter. And then this is to tell you to restart your computer. At this point you should go ahead and restart your computer. I'm just going to skip it so I can continue on with the installation. Once that's done, we're going to go back to the root folder, so C drive. We're going to open up step two. We're going to click on install, and then we're going to click on instprog.exe. Press OK on the bottom right. Make sure you select English on this step, otherwise you're not going to understand what's going on. Press continue. Continue again. 
Make sure that your destination drive is C drive and then press continue. And then on this option, we're going to click on BMW Group Rectification Programs UK. Then press continue again. Now on this option, we're going to click on all of the check boxes that are unchecked. So update, update, and complete. Press continue, and then continue again. Once that's done, it's going to say installation finished. Click on end. And this folder should pop up with all of these software that is available to use now. Just close out of it. Go ahead and restart your computer again. I'm going to go ahead and skip it so that we can continue on. Once you've done restart, once you've finished restarting the computer, open up C drive again. And then go to step three. Again, click on install and then instprog.exe. Press OK on the bottom right. Make sure you select English again. Continue, continue. Make sure the destination drive is C drive. Press continue. And then BMW Group Rectification Programs UK. Continue. And this time we're going to click on Update under INPA 5.0.1 and complete under NCS Expert 3.0.8. Then press continue. Old NCS Expert version, we're gonna click on rename. And I'm just gonna put number one. And then press continue. And then continue again. Once you get the dialog that says installation finished, press end. And then this folder should pop up with all of the programs again. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up our our cable. So what you're going to do is make sure whatever USB port that you use to set up the cable, make sure you always use that port. If you use another port, then you have to set it up again in order for it to work. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug it into the port. After it's plugged in, as you can see this should pop up for Windows XP users. We're going to click yes this time, or actually we're going to click on no, not this time. Press next. Install from a list or specific location. Click on next. And then make sure you click on include this location. And deselect search removable media. Then we're going to browse. We're going to go to C drive. And we're going to click on driver decan USB. And then click on driver again and then press OK. Now we're going to click on Next and it should go ahead and find the driver and go ahead and install it. Once that's done, make sure you click on Finished and then click on No, not this time again. Install from a list or specific location. It should already have that location saved, otherwise go and do it again and press Next. Press Finish once that's done, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up Device Manager. In order to do that, you're going to go to Start, right click on My Computer, and click on Properties. This dialog box should pop up with System Properties. Click on the Hardware tab, click on Device Manager. Under Device Manager, we're going to scroll down to Ports. You should already have the USB serial port uh, option available. Right click that. Then we're going to click on properties. And then we're going to go to port settings tab on the top. We're going to click on advanced. Now this is where we're going to change the COM port number to COM port number one. We're going to change the latency timer from 16 to 1. Once you've changed the latency timer to 1, go ahead and press OK. Press OK again. And then you can go ahead and close out of Device Manager. Now we're going to go ahead and open up that root directory again of C drive. We're going to go to the driver DCAN USB folder. And we're going to click on OBD Setup. 
and then just press enter. And now you can go ahead and open up this folder with uh, on the desktop that says Idiabus WinKFP. And then all of the software that's available should be here under the Idiabus folder. Now we can go ahead and open up Inpa, which is under the program menu, and just click on Inpa.ipo. And there we go, you should be good to go. Alright, so once you've completed the installation, you can go ahead and try it out with your car. The, the procedure to use the cable is always make sure the program is closed, make sure you plug in the adapter into whatever port that we assigned to, plug it in first, then plug the actual cable into the car, then open up, then open up the program input, and then put your key to the ignition mode and then that should detect an input. That way you can go ahead and do any uh, diagnostic stuff that you like to. I'm gonna go ahead and make a separate video on how to use the software itself. Uh, whenever I need to use it, I'll go ahead and show you guys all the capabilities and stuff like that. But if you guys have any specific requests, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you have any problems with installation or anything like that, just make sure you go ahead and email me or message me or whatever. I usually check my Instagram the mo most, so, if you could message me like a direct message on Instagram, that'll probably be the quickest way to get in touch with me. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more DIYs.